I want to welcome everyone to the 24th Annual Regulatory Information Conference. It's a tremendous honor for me to address the RIC for the eighth time. And on behalf of my Commission colleagues, I want to thank Eric Leeds, Brian Sharon, and their staffs in the Office of Nuclear Reactor Regulation and the Office of Nuclear Regulatory Research for making this event possible. Believe it or not, the people who are planning uh, next year's RIC are already at work probably somewhere in a in the hallway uh, planning next year's uh, event. So this is a, uh, an effort that takes the entire year and, and the dedication of a tremendous number of people, and we certainly appreciate all of your, your efforts in that regard. As you can see by the room, our attendance at this year's event is at record levels, and we have more than 30 countries that have sent representatives to this event. The RIC continues to be an invaluable forum for us to share information and exchange views about recent developments and emerging issues central to nuclear safety and security. But beyond the Commission and the staff directly involved in the planning of this event, the RIC would not be successful without the collaboration, hard work, and support of staff from across the agency. But of course, this event is just one of the many issues and challenges that face the NRC staff and the nuclear industry. Whether here in Rockville, in one of the regions, at our technical training center, or in a telecommute location, sometimes somewhere in the world. Whether you're a technical reviewer, an inspector, a manager, an administrative professional, or an individual representing one of the many disciplines, our staff works each day to protect public health and safety in the environment and to carry out the NRC's very important public health and safety mission. <clears throat> I, of course, would like to just take a moment to talk about the year that we've had. It has certainly been a year of significant challenge, but what I have seen throughout is a dedication and a focus to the mission. We have dealt with challenges both external and internal, and throughout the staff has shown a dedication to the mission, and the Commission has shown a dedication to the mission. My longest serving colleague, Commissioner Christine Svinnigy, continues her focus on the details that make us an effective regulator. Commissioner Postolakis, in addition to all of the work that we have all done, has spent the last year working on ways to enhance and improve our use of, of probabilistic risk assessment. And I believe he'll talk about the results of that work today. Commissioner Magwood brings to this commission his extensive experience with the Department of Energy and has used his considerable knowledge of the nuclear field to advance our regulatory mission as well as our outreach to stakeholders. And I think an interesting point he made a few days ago is that he has over 13 years of experience as a political appointee in the federal government. And that's a tremendous amount of experience that brings to bear on the work that we do. Commissioner Ostendorf's broad background, including his long service with the Nuclear Navy and assignments in the House Armed Services Committee and the National Nuclear Security Administration, has brought important perspectives that have helped us challenge, tackle important challenges like issues of cybersecurity and many others. Looking back on this year, I think very few of us at this time at last year's RIC were prepared for the events that were going to unfold in the nuclear community that affected the entire world. <clears throat> 